The Pharaoh is the heart of Egypt. The land is its body. And the people are its blood. One day you will rule Egypt, my son. Your armies will thunder across the boundless desert. And it shall tremble beneath them as it shook beneath the pounding feet of the countless men who toiled in the burning sun to build your grandfather's eternal resting place. He was Egypt, just as I am Egypt, and as you will be Egypt. His face is my face, and your face. His strength, our strength, for his blood runs in our veins. He labored a lifetime to build this monument, which now watches over us. And when it was complete, so too was his life complete. Yet even as my father was taken by Anubis, a new life came forth. And as your grandfather was bound in fine linen, so were you wrapped in swaddling clothes. And a new day dawned for Egypt. In time, each pharaoh must heed the call of Osiris and embark on a final journey to the immortal realm. For when the day of Pharaoh's reign is at an end, so the night of his eternal sleep begins. While he slumbers undisturbed, so shall Egypt endure. Hey guys, and what is up, and welcome to episode 1 of my new Let's Play. I am going to be Let's Playing Pharaoh and Cleopatra for PC. Uh, this game is came out uh, early 2000s. Um, I played it uh, quite, uh, quite a lot, and um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this, and I will explain... Um, I'll go ahead and explain how it works as we go through this. I'm just going to go ahead and start. We're going to create a new family. What should this be named? Hmm, let's choose an Egyptian name. Let's see, we have Zama. I can't even say these. Ancient Girls. Abana. Oh, those are female names. Um Akunash. Inaris. Nebhatep. Nefermenu. Pashedu. Seninjem. Um, actually, let's do Inaris. I kind of like Inaris. Let's do that one. Continue. Um, we're going to begin our family history. We're going to be playing the story mode on this. You can do custom missions and choose missions and stuff. But before I click, let me give a quick overview of this game. This game is... I guess you can consider it um, kind of a similar game to Civilizations or Caesar. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of those games. Uh, where you pretty much... We are going to be building our kingdom. Um as the pharaohs of Egypt and we will be expanding our kingdom throughout and playing different hit, uh, missions um, and going through the time all the way to Cleopatra so it's also the pharaoh we end with Cleopatra um, I've beaten pharaoh before but this is the expansion with Cleopatra and I have not played the Cleopatra stuff so if I get that far don't fail at this game because it is a big strategy game and it's pretty much if your strategy is not right you're not going to make it so if you guys have any pointers and stuff you see something that I do because um, I'm doing this on the same habits that I've been doing whenever I play this game. So if you see something that like you think might work better if you have another way you play this game, feel free to comment below and I'll take it some of your advice. We're going to go ahead and begin. Uh, we're going to start on the pre-dynastic period as the Pharaoh. There were two separate games originally, but I have the expansion pack. So we're going to start here. Your family begins the pre-dynastic period leading a small band of nomads through the discovery of the arts of civilization. Your leadership helps to set Egypt on its course to eventual greatness, still glimpsed only dimly. It is said that a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So may the story of a great nation begin with one dream. The Red Land has given birth to such a dream. 
Clans of nomads carry it in their heart, across the immeasurable desert and into the land of Egypt. Welcome to ancient Egypt, land of the pharaohs. Here you'll participate in the history of one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever seen. In an epic story that spans more than 15 centuries and two dozen generations. You must lead one family, generation by generation, from its earliest beginnings in Egyptian prehistory, through the dawn of civilization, to the establishment of a unique and powerful empire and beyond. Our story begins more than 5,000 years ago, along the banks of the Nile River in an area known as Nut. Here, a small confederacy of clans struggles to eke out an existence in the harsh environment. With you at its head, your family leads this small settlement. All right, so we have two objectives, and we are going to be building the village of Nut, of Nupt, Nupt. How did he say that? Nupt? We'll go with not nubbed. Nupt. There we go. Um, we need six meager shanties. That should be pretty easy. You can create an area of housing to watch immigrants grab. So this one will be pretty easily the first the first one. Um, there is difficulty. Normal, hard, very hard. Easy, very easy. Um, I'm not gonna play on very easy, because that's ridiculously easy. Not going to play on very hard because if I play it on very hard, I will not get very far. Now, I might do like a little special one weekend and see how far I can get on very hard because it is ridiculous. Like, you'll see all the things that happen. Like, literally, you're just bombarded with all these kingdoms that are trying to attack you. You have constant war. Everything's burning down. Everybody's dying of disease. It, I can't get very far in it at all. I'm not going to play hard. Normal. Um... See, what I don't want to happen is I think I've played the game on... I usually play it on easy, but what I don't want to happen is be on... What the heck was that? Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'm going to probably play on easy only for the sake of doing this Let's Play because it gets very difficult at some parts, and what I don't want to happen is I get stuck at a stage and I can't get past it. Um, so I'm going to try to make this easy. I don't want to make this like so easy that we blow by everything, but I do want to have a little bit of a challenge and definitely... I promise you this does put up a little bit of a challenge, but for the sake of YouTube and being able to pl let's play this whole game, which I've never been able to do because I always um, lose like in the middle of it. Well, you can't lose. I just don't feel like starting over again. But we're going to go ahead and head to the city. Housing and roads. The first things in this village will need are housing to provide settlers with a substitute place to live and a network of roads to allow its eventual inhabitants to find their way around the city easily and proficiently. Build areas of housing that you'll soon see population people move into the village. Roads, right click and drag the mouse to build long lengths of roads at one time. At every intersection, walkers must choose which way to go, so each intersection lessens your control over their actual routes. Plan roads carefully with as few intersections as possible to ensure that the people they are walking with them, the path by which these immigrants reach your city, is known as the Kingdom Road. Migrants also need a free passage from the Kingdom Road to the city's housing areas. If you isolate some neighbors, from the right, like this one, right click your mouse button. Right, I'm going to get a couple settings first set up. Um, I'm gonna turn the music volume down because I feel like it's pretty loud. So if you can't, if you couldn't hear my voice before, hopefully this will help. I might have to adjust this later. I'll leave the speech up. Sound effects. I'm gonna turn these down to like 80. Uh, city sounds. I'll turn these down to like 80 also, just so you can hear my voice. And if I find that they're too loud next time, I'll change them. Um, display settings are good. I set that up. Speed settings. Game speed? No. We want it like 60%. Scroll speed 40%. Is that... Yeah, that's good. Okay, that game speed's a little slow. 60. I'll change these up each. Go up each. each. Okay, that works. We'll have to adjust that later. Let's see. What else do we have? Pop-up messages. Cities Egyptian. Difficulty. Oh, I can change the difficulty throughout the game. So if I find, oh, well then maybe I, okay. We're, we'll keep it on easy though for now. Auto save on, pyramid speed up. Don't know what that does. Fifty percent. Um, file, blah, 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 help. Nope, overseers. Okay, we don't need to worry about the overseers right now. All right, well, let me explain the, the way this interface and this map and stuff works. Um, up here is like the basic messages, just like in Roadrunner's Tycoon or a game like that. They'll pop up, this is our 
current goal we have right now. Um, this button is to view our overseers, but it's not available in this assignment, so I'll show that off at another time. Uh, we have a map of the world, which I can't see either, so I'm not going to show that off. But here is review your mission. It'll take us back to that page, and the guy will read it to us again. Uh, we have view your messages. This is like, okay, that was the housing and information road. We'll get more of that later. But for, um, this is just a clear land, like if I wanted to delete road. But I'm not going to build road right now because we have what we what is our kingdom road. And you can see this is our map in the corner. Um, so that's what the world looks like at the. Uh, I guess it's a Nile. I don't think we're on the Nile yet, but this is all the stuff that I will go into later when we have things like fire I'll use it to see the risks of stuff which you won't worry about. No, right click. Okay, you can right click on stuff to like Look at it. But we're gonna go to build housing. This is the build housing one So housing people can only access a house if it is up to two away from a road So right now I couldn't build these here then it would be like oh, there's no road there so We're just gonna go ahead and do that Now one of the basic health one of the basic things you need is water, so I'm going to build a well, which wells can only be, be built where there's grass, so we can't put it here. And as we wait for people, there's our immigrants. still feel like this is a little loud. Okay. We'll leave it at that. Um, now we're just going to wait for them to arrive. That is a good speed setting. That looks like basic speed. They're not like sprinting. Because this game can get very hectic at times. There's a lot of things that'll go on later on. So if it's if it's if it's going too fast, you'll find that you're losing control. Um, you have to slow it down a little bit. But I try to just keep it on one speed, kind of play fair. All right, now let's. You can right click on the buildings to see what they are. That is a sturdy hut. So here's a meager shanty. Hut, crude hut. I'm not even sure what this looks like. I don't remember. But, th but there's water right there. Yeah, this game can get a little finicky sometimes, but again, and it takes me getting used to swamp lands. We'll get into this stuff later. Farming lands, all this cool stuff. But um, while we wait for these people to arrive, I'll explain a little bit more of this project. Um, I'm just going to let's play the basics of the game. That's all I'm going to do. I might show off a little bit of the custom mi custom missions. I've never messed with that before. Um, this is going to be upload, uh, updated on an episode on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. As for now, it's probably going to be like, okay, this is level one. This is episode one. But later on, some of the episodes are probably going to take us a whole weekend to complete. So I'll probably like divide them up into like 15-minute sections, 20-minute sections, maybe less or more, depending on how it goes. So as for now, I'm just going to leave this... Mission is episode one, and I'm going to conclude that. Um, and yeah, wait for more people to arrive. Music's classic in this. What do we need? We need six meager shanties. I don't know look like. <coughs> ah, sorry about that. Ah, these are meager shanties. You're better than these, crude hut, sturdy hut. Okay, well that's, I guess I gotta wait for these giant ones to evolve. Oh, and that's one of the things I always forget about doing. See how these four houses join together and see how these are left alone? Now they aren't, they aren't going to upgrade by themselves. They need to be in a group of four. So sometimes this will get off by one and you'll have to delete it and like rebuild it, which sucks. But sometimes when you need to get these prosperous houses, it's the only thing that you can do. And here comes the flood. This will be important later when we do farming. Right, well, why haven't we beat this yet? There's water right there. No. Why is this so difficult? This is the easiest one. There, are you happy? Okay, this game speed does need to go at least one more faster. 80%. I think that, okay, that's what I usually live on. All right, okay, this is, 
there's more to this first level than I realized, but food or famine. Um, I'm gonna just leave it like this, skim over it myself to make sure I don't miss anything, because this is, some of these get excessive, but I'll pause it every screen, so if you get, uh, guys do want to read it, just pause it, and you can skim through it really quick. So we have to hunt, and our food source here is going to be ostrich, built a hunting lodge, which is where it'll train your workers, and they will go out and fight, but then you need a place to store it, and to, to put it out, which is going to be the gr granary, which is holds the meat, and the bazaar is going to sell the meat, or distribute it to the people. So, different workers we are need. So there you go, there's our diagram. They'll go out, the liver will deliver it, this person will carry it to the bazaar and deliver it to the houses, and we will get those buildings, which I think is probably the one that we need. That is the storage and distribution structures button, and that is the food button. Some of your crude huts into meager shanties, and this is accomplished by providing items with water and food. So each structured house gets upgraded based on certain things, and it'll tell you what it needs to upgrade or what's preventing it from upgrading. And right now, not having food is preventing some of them from upgrading. Uh, we do get the overseer now, so I will go ahead and show this off. Uh, we have an overseer for every section, just like, um, like the president has, like all of his. The Secretary of, Tre uh, of Treasury and Secretary of Defense and all that stuff. We have the same thing, but they're just our overseers, and they'll kind of summarize how things are going in our town. So uh, first, I'm going to build this. So we can just get some food racking in here. Put them there, granary. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm not worried about the durability right now. So if I build this right next to the house, it's no big deal. Later on, I won't be able to do that. But for the sake of this project, for the sake of this level, we can. which I'll put the bazaar in there. There we go. So hopefully this will create some of our houses. I'll go ahead and show the overseers off while that does its thing. The only one we have right now is the granaries or the, or the food. We'll get the, less, the rest the rest later. This is our population. It's growing. It's almost up to 200. We produce far too little food. Well, yeah, because we don't have any here. This is like our age of people. Okay. Oh, we got this button now. This is to undo our last action. So, like, I can undo building that granary or something like that. So, I mean, that might get used occasionally. Hurry up, people. Ah, see, now this is getting fertilized because of the flood. It allows you to farm there. So, okay, yep. See, we got our first pack of meat here. So, this will start getting distributed, and eventually we'll see these upgrade. Oh, yep, they have. So, well done. You've managed to supply the cities with food. So, the first food reached our villages. Now, we got to get a better water supply because, honestly, a well is not the best thing. And we want to also provide some more jobs for our people to create a stable, um, stable country, uh, not country, stable town. So we're going to get a water supply, which is an upgrade to a well, and these can also get built up bigger and bigger, and you'll notice these later on when we get uh, much higher wealth and higher class going on in our town. Uh, they'll, you'll get a water carrier that'll work for them, and it'll dispatch to the houses, which, instead of having to get your own, allows the buildings to upgrade more and more. I need to provide six sturdy huts with food, and then they'll evolve into meager shanties. So I'm just waiting for food, and I might as well build at least one water supply. I'll build it up here. Okay, I don't care right now, because we don't have farming. They're just telling us that next year there's going to be a good flood. And yep, they're taking the meat back and forth. Oh, he's carrying nostrils. They just shot those. He's taking more meat back and forth. Yep, see the road over here is getting a little bit nicer uh, as our population is going up. Or in our population, desirability is going up. Ah, there we go. Meager shanty, that's what we're looking for. We got one, we need six. Oh, there you go, three. They're not going to upgrade anymore because they need other stuff. So three, come on, three more. Three, and 
that will wrap up this episode as soon as we can victorize this horse. Come on, give me more. Why aren't these upgrade? Why is the desirability bad? Do I need to build another bazaar over here? These houses aren't doing anything. I'm sorry. We need another bazaar to distribute the food. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, they upgraded. Victory, proceed. Um, that is gonna wrap up this video. Um, hope you guys are enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy this, and hope you guys, if you could give this this series a little bit of a chance, because I promise you, it's gonna get a lot more interesting later on. These first levels are just gonna be learning the game and me showing it off, just the basics of it. So, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and record episode probably two and three after this, because I will be gone this weekend. But they will be up, um, as you know, they already are up because you're watching this. But um, I will see you guys later. Well done by filling your people's bellies with nourishing food and protecting their homes from fire and collapse. You have helped this fledgling civilization take its first step on the long road of history. Okay, so I actually, I'm gonna throw this in at the end really quick because I forgot it shows you this. We didn't do fire and collapse, that's later, so I don't know why it mentions that. Um, but we had a kingdom rating of 50, which is like really high. Oh, I forgot to mention it's Debbins, um, it's DB's the money. I think it's Debbins. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'll probably get corrected later. Final population was 371. We had some. That's how much money. Ten months, easy score. Oh, I beat my high score for this. You have bested Neshi's achievement. So my actual file that I got the farthest I've ever gotten in this game, which is almost to the end of Pharaoh. I did beat that score. Okay, now I'm gonna wrap up this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow.